Hi, I'm James Norton, Shadowcom Super Taster, and tis the season to send crazy Christmas-related or holiday-related gift baskets. Uh, and when my producer said, you know, do something on a Christmas gift assortment, my mind immediately turned to Swiss Colony. It's a Wisconsin-based company uh, from Monroe, Wisconsin, near my hometown of Madison. I remember being down in Monroe uh, researching a cheese book, and I was getting coffee at a coffee house in their old European style town square and I heard the Swiss Colony uh, staff artist who draws Chris the Mouse, their charming little cartoon mascot, talking to her editor about Chris the Mouse, loading presents onto a truck and even though he's working hard, can he work joyfully? And it was just a, it was like this charming little slice of life. So I like Swiss Colony. I don't have a lot of preconceived notions about them though. I haven't really eaten a lot of their stuff. So I ordered their 26 item Surefire Pleaser set for about $50. Um, Sure enough, it shows up. I open it up. It's like Alibaba's treasure. Piles and piles of stuff in there. Um, so I'm gonna. I tried basically everything in there, and I want to give you a report on my top three and bottom three items. First thing, um, the incredible spreadables herb garden spread. It is spreadable. Is it incredible? It's got exactly the right balance of uh, sort of herbal vegetal tasting and a real kick of salt and a real kick of creamy cheesiness. It's simple, it's relaxing, it's mellow. I enjoy it, frankly. I will I will finish the sucker off. On a similar note, the smoky pecan log, uh, which is a cheese log with pecans on the exterior. It's got a nutty, sweet crunchiness, first and foremost. The pecans really dominate, followed by a little bit of a tang of, uh, you know, ersatz aged cheddar. It's good. Finally, my favorite, is the garlic flavored beef log summer sausage. My producer John is fascinated by summer sausage. Uh, and you know, as a Wisconsinite, I can understand that. Summer sausage is everywhere at all times. It's got a snappy bite to it. It's got a uh, kind of a smooth texture. And this one's got a little bit of a garlic hit at the end. So it's snappy, it's smooth, it's laid back. Um, it's really easy to kind of just munch along with some crackers, maybe some cheese spread. It's completely unpretentious, and frankly, it says the holidays to me. Now, the duds. Uh, yeah, not everything in the 26-item set was great. Starting with the garden vegetable cheese log, this thing just tasted reconstituted. Number one word for it, just bad reconstituted vegetal kind of flavor. Mixed nuts. How can you go wrong with mixed nuts? Uh, these are not great mixed nuts. There's no... Um, real uh, herbal or spiced spin on them. They're not really salty enough. Um, they don't taste like the world's finest nuts. There's not a lot of them. As mixed nuts go, uh, I feel like the bar, it's hard to screw up. I feel like these are these are not great mixed nuts. But my least favorite thing, it should be the crown and glory, frankly, of the Surefire Pleasers, is the Pettifors, the uh, enrobed chocolate over cake uh, candies that are uh, sort of a European salute to the Christmas season. Um, chocolate is dry, waxy, low quality. The cake is dried out. Uh, the cream layer is just, it's, I don't know, it's just sweet with no real nuance or flavor to it. A nasty little bugger. Um, and I regret having taken a bite of it. I'm James Norton, Chattacom Super Taster. I'll be back in a couple of days with more food.